I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this series, we will discuss sigma notation with very few interesting examples. These will give you full concept of sigma notation and the variety of applications you can come across. Knowledge of sequences in series is very important while we are discussing this particular topic. The question here is, find a polynomial f of x such that the sum of f of k where k goes from 1 to n is equal to n square plus 2n for all positive integers n. Very interesting question. I like you to pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Now, what does that mean? The index k is going from 1 to n, f of k equals to this. So, let's rewrite the expression in the normal form, and then we'll solve it. So, we are, what we are given here is that the sum when k is equal to 1 to n, then sum of all the functions f k is equal to n square plus 2 n. We need to find a polynomial f of x for which this is true. Perfect. So, that is the question given to you. Now, from whatever is given, this k, if I say what is the sum of f of x for k 1 to x, right, we can get in terms of x, right. So, let me just change this to x, let us say n equals to x. In that case, we get sum where k goes from 1 to x f of x is equal to what? That sum of f of k, uh, let me write like this, will be f of 1 plus f of 2 plus so on, right, f of x minus 1 plus f of x equals 2, x square plus 2x, correct. So, we get a polynomial here, where the sum of all these functions is x square plus 2x. Now, the idea is we only want what is f of x. So, for that, what can we do? Well, we can see what is f of x minus 1 and then take away that polynomial from this. Perfect. So, that becomes the strategy to solve this kind of a question. Correct. So, that is what we are going to do. So, we can find the sum of x minus 1 terms, right. So, if I put n equals to x minus 1, in that case, we have f of 1 plus f of 2 and so on till f of x minus 1 and this is equal to what? Replacing x with x minus 1, right? You get the idea. So, then we are in a position to find what f of x is by taking the difference of these two. Sounds good, right? So, I hope you understand this strategy. You can always send me an email on the address given to learn directly from me. 
most of my students are doing extremely well. They are on top of the class and some of them are getting scholarships and awards like Akshit. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. <laughs> Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. So now let's continue with this and get our answer, right? So from here, let's rename these equations as equation 1 and 2. Difference of these two equations will give us f of x, right? So, let's calculate the value. f of x is therefore equal to the difference of the two. So, the first series is x square plus 2x minus the other series, which is replacing x with x minus 1. plus 2 times x minus 1. Make sense, right? So, that becomes our strategy for solving such questions. We need to now expand and simplify to get the function. So, let's continue. x minus 1 whole square will be x square minus 2x plus 1. Open this up. 2x minus 2, which is x square plus 2x minus minus 2x plus 2x is 0 and plus 1 minus minus 2 is minus 1. And that gives you x square minus x square is 0. Then 2x minus and minus becomes plus 1. So, we get our function f of x equals to 2x plus 1. Perfect. So, our answer is that the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. So, I hope that helps to understand the strategy and how do we solve such questions. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.